Spider-Man. Miles Morales. The game starts with a quick recap of the previous adventure. Miles Morales was a regular teen from Brooklyn who moved to Harlem after the Devil's Breath attack on Manhattan, which had resulted in the death of his father, Officer Jefferson Davis, during an attack by Martin Lee Mr. Negative. After helping Peter Parker take down Lee and Otto Octavius Doc Ock, Miles was also bitten by a radioactive spider. He told Peter, who took him under his wing to teach him how to become his own Spider-Man. Peter and Miles are monitoring a prison convoy carrying a dangerous criminal. When Miles notices something wrong, he swings in to try and help, only for the chain on the container starting to snap from the chopper. The Spider-Man swings in to try and fix things, but the container is broken loose, and Alexei Sitsevich the Rhino starts running amok. Miles tries to subdue him, only for Rhino to rampage through a mall. After getting the villain away from civilians, Miles fights Rhino and takes him down with his Venom Punch ability. He and Peter leave Rhino in the custody of Roxanne Energy Corporation, led by Simon Krieger. Peter tells Miles that he is going to Simcaria with Mary Jane Watson to take pictures for her as she is doing a news report for the Daily Bugle. He is leaving Miles in charge of the Spider-Man duties, and while Miles is still relatively new to the job, he promises that the city will be in good hands. He leaves him with gadgets and tutorials on how to better his skills as Spidey. Miles returns home to join his best friend Ganky Lee, who knows about his secret identity. They join Miles' mom Rio, who is running for city council, as they set up Thanksgiving dinner. Rio surprises Miles by having invited his childhood best friend Finn Mason to join. Finn has been like Miles' sister, since they had a keen interest in science from a young age. After dinner, Miles and Finn catch up. He admits he hasn't really gotten used to the move to Harlem, and she assures him that he will get settled. He makes plans with her to hang out soon. Genki creates a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man app for Miles to get in touch with the city's residents whenever they need help. One of his first tasks is helping fix an issue in the subways, and the person asking for help is none other than Miles' estranged uncle, Aaron Davis. Miles takes on other tasks, allowing other people to accept him as a new Spidey. Aaron thanks Miles with a subway pass, revealing that he knows that it's him as Spider-Man. He is proud of him for doing something great, but also expresses concern for him, so that he doesn't suffer the same fate as Jeff, since Aaron never reconciled with him before his death. Miles and Ganky later go to a rally for Rio, where she is speaking out against Roxanne since they moved into Harlem and have made things difficult for residents, despite touting themselves as being there to protect the city. At that moment, Roxanne officials are transporting an experimental drug called Newfirm across the city. The rally is interrupted by a villain called the Tinkerer, who is leading a group called the Underground against Roxon. They sabotage the rally, forcing Miles to spring into action. After getting people to safety, he heads to the bridge where Underground members attack the Roxon vehicles. The Tinkerer tries to grab the new firm until Miles comes to fight. To his surprise, Finn is the Tinkerer leading these villains. After fighting off the underground goons, Miles inadvertently causes an explosion by destabilizing the core in the Roxon truck. He manages to get most people to safety and stops the bridge from completely collapsing. He feels guilty for causing the mess and letting Finn and her henchmen get away. After Ganky encourages Miles to keep up his work, despite the sudden backlash from Krieger in the press, Miles finds an abandoned facility that Finn had used for her work. She finds footage of her working with her brother Rick, since he had been working with Roxon on New Firm before, and it made him sick. Finn lost her phone after snooping in a Roxon facility, so Miles heads there and sneaks past Krieger and his men to find the phone past a reactor. Miles sees another video showing Finn and Rick had tried to shut down Roxon's core, but Krieger caught them and trapped Rick close to the reactor as it blew, killing Rick in front of Finn and starting her quest for vengeance. Miles encounters Roxon Mercs and fights them off until he is helped by the Prowler, who is really Aaron working for Roxon. He helps Miles get away undetected, but warns him to stay out of this business. Miles later meets Finn to talk to her about what he knows about her. She more or less owns up to being Tinker, but he tells her he wants to help her get back at Roxon for what Krieger did to Rick. Miles asks if she will let him join Underground, and she agrees to take him to their hideout, which used to be a base for Wilson Fisk Kingpin's criminal activity. Just before he can begin training, Miles is called away on a task by Ganky, leaving Finn disappointed. Miles uses his camouflage ability as Spider-Man to listen in on Finn with other Underground goons, who have also gotten sick from exposure to New Firm. Before Miles can get out, Finn spots him and fights him as Tinkerer. He chases her across the city until she corners him. 
Before she can deliver the killing blow, Miles reveals his identity to her. She is stunned and angered, the delight about his identity and wanting to join underground, and she escapes. Miles manages to contact Finn again, and while she is still angry at him, she attempts to listen. Their moment is interrupted when Rhino, now wearing stronger rocks and armor, comes into attack. He incapacitates the two and brings them to Krieger as prisoners. As he leaves them to be tortured, Miles unlocks his Mega Venom Charge ability, putting down all rocks and goons within range. He and Finn make their escape, and Miles starts to find data on Krieger where he learns that he modified the Roxanne Plaza's new firm reactor, and since Finn is planning to blow it up to bring Roxanne down, it could end up destroying all of Harlem. The two are cornered by more rocks and goons and Rhino. After smashing the armor off of him, Miles takes him down a second time. Before he and Finn can leave, Rhino taunts Finn with what Krieger said about Rick and his death. Finn begins to stab Rhino with her sword, but Miles stops her from killing him. She becomes enraged with him once more and threatens to kill him if he gets in her way again. Miles goes home injured, where Rio finds him and learns of his identity. He tells her about Finn and her plan, and Rio agrees to help do whatever is needed to keep citizens safe. Genki also helps to try and warn people to evacuate them from the city. Miles heads out to stop Finn, but he is caught by Prowler and taken to a Roxanne hideout. He argues that he is trying to keep Miles alive by stopping him from fighting, but Miles knows he has to save the city if he doesn't get to Finn first. Miles breaks free and fights Prowler, who attempts to use holograms to fight Miles, but he outwits his uncle and takes him down, despite the remorse he feels from having to fight him. Underground and Roxanne goons are fighting each other in the streets as Finn heads to the plaza. After taking down all the gang members, Miles has Rio and Genki lead citizens out of the city. Miles catches up to Finn and battles her throughout the Miles plaza. manages to outsmart and overpower Finn, but the reactor is already going critical. The building starts to crumble and the two fall, but Miles manages to save Finn before they hit the ground. He makes it to the reactor and absorbs a massive amount of energy, which he must release or it will kill him. Finn grabs Miles and uses her rocket boots to fly high into the sky. She allows him to let it go, releasing all the energy that destroys her. Miles drops to the ground but survives. Rio and Genki find him unmasked, as do a few other citizens. However, they get his mask and agree to hide his identity because he is so young. Miles mourns Finn briefly before making his getaway. Weeks later, Krieger's evil deeds are exposed as Aaron testifies against him and Roxon. Krieger is locked up while Aaron is set to get a reduced sentence. Rio is elected to city council as well. Peter returns from Simcaria and sees that Miles has done a great job on his own, seeing him as ready to be his own version of Spider-Man. Miles himself is ready to embrace his duties as well as his place in his new city. The two then swing away to fight crime together. mid credit scene, Norman Osborn goes to see Dr. Kurt Connors, who is keeping Norman's ill son Harry in a tube with the Venom symbiote. Despite Connors' advice, Norman insists on waking Harry up, not knowing the consequences of what he is really waking up. post credit scene, Miles goes to the top of the Trinity Church to leave a trophy that he and Finn won in her memory. Miles Morales takes on duties as Spider-Man as Peter Parker is way on a trip. While he manages to win over a number of citizens in Harlem, he uncovers a conspiracy with a new corporation called Roxon, along with its leader Simon Krieger. To make things harder, an organization called the Underground, led by the Tinkerer, is acting against Roxon to steal their experimental drug, Newfirm. Tinkerer is Miles' childhood best friend Finn Mason, who wants revenge because her older brother Rick worked with Roxon and created Newfirm, but after getting sick from it and trying to destroy it, Krieger had him killed, leading to Finn's quest for revenge. Miles also faces off against Rhino and Prowler, who is his uncle Aaron Davis. Aaron is working for Roxon as Prowler, but he tries to keep Miles out of harm's way until Miles realizes that Finn's plan to blow up the Newfirm reactor will also cause Harlem to be destroyed. Miles has his mother Rio and best friend Genki get citizens to safety as he battles both Roxon and Underground. He faces off with Finn and defeats her as the reactor starts to go critical. Miles absorbs the energy from the reactor, but it is too much for him to hold or release without killing everyone. Finn launches herself and Miles high enough for him to release it, which kills her, but keeps everyone out of harm's way. Rio, Genki, and the other citizens find Miles safe and protect his identity. Krieger is exposed and arrested, while Aaron gets a light sentence for testifying. Rio is elected to city council as well. After Peter returns and commends Miles for his efforts on his own, 
Miles decides to take on his new duties while embracing his new city. The credits reveal that Harry Osborne is being kept alive by the Venom symbiote and his father Norman wants him awake.